This is a lesson on drawing parallelograms. And our objective today is for you to be able to draw one of those things, a parallelogram, using a protractor and a measuring device like a ruler. Anything that has inches and centimeters on it is going to work uh, really well. In order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know how to use a protractor to draw angles and how to measure things and how to draw you know a line segment that's a certain length and if you don't know how to do that or you're unclear on those things please review them before continuing uh, with this lesson here's our notes for drawing parallelograms and what are the steps to drawing a par parallelogram there's a few and so uh, writing the steps here and maybe drawing an example or labeling steps down below whatever helps you remember how to do it is good uh, on your note card all right taking a look at parallelograms we see that um, parallelograms here's a parallelogram on the inside here and they are made up of a bunch of lines right and the lines form different angles and you can see that there's an angle here and an angle there and what we're going to do actually is just take a look at those angles so I'm talking about that region right there focusing in on it now you can see that uh, there are one two three four different angles formed <clears throat> but really in a parallelogram every corner is the same right so if we focus on oh, missed it focus on these corners they're all the same they all look the same they all have exactly the same angles and um, and they are the same angles <clears throat> and in a parallelogram there's some interesting things going on first of all uh, if you have two intersecting lines the angles that are formed on the opposite sides are equal so this yellow dot angle here is equal to that other yellow dot angle which is equal to this yellow dot angle and that yellow dot angle and these are all equal over here so we have eight equal angles uh, in our par parallelogram and I'm going to label them all as number ones right we go one one and one so all of all of those are exactly the same angle now what happens is opposite angles are equal so this angle right here and that angle right there are also equal in measure so all the blue dot angles now are equal I'm going to label those with a two and the purpose of this is not to you know confuse you with all these angles it's actually to not confuse you in that when we draw a parallelogram we're really only going to use one angle that's it all right so if you can draw one angle off of a line or a line segment you can draw a parallelogram um, when you draw one angle the other one is automatically drawn okay and you'll you'll see that uh, when we get going on this all right so anyway opposite angles of an intersection are equal all right here's our guided practice drawing a parallel parallelogram and what we're going to be doing is drawing a parallelogram with a 120 degree angle and a 60 degree angle and one of the things that you should know eventually you will see this but I'm just going to tell you now that the angles in the parallelogram the two different angles uh, are going to add up to 180 degrees all the time right so if one's 150 the other one's going to be 30 if one's 90 the other one's going to be 90 uh, and so they always add up to 180 all right so what do we start or how do we start drawing the parallelogram we're going to start by drawing a uh, nice long line right so this is when you need your straight edge and anything with a straight edge on it is going to work and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a really long line now this direction doesn't tell you how long the sides need to be in this parallelogram so you can make them any size you just need to be able to measure these two angles and really we're only going to measure one of these if we draw that angle this angle will also be drawn and I'll show you that in a minute all right so step one is draw a long line all right so we're going to draw a line and you're going to draw it longer than you need 
and draw it pretty light so that in the end you can come in and erase part of your line. All right, so that's what we start with. I've <clears throat> got a line going there. I'm going to move mine up even though on your paper you can't move it up. The next thing we do, need to do is we need to draw angles off that line and what we need to do is draw two exact uh, uh, same angles off that line. So even though the directions say 120 degrees and 60 degrees, we're really only going to draw the 120 degree line. So I'm going to highlight that one. That's that's our buddy there. That's what we're going to be drawing. And uh, for that we need another tool. And the tool we need is called a protractor. All right, and so make this slightly bigger so we can see it. Uh, and on the protractor what we're going to do is we're going to um, pick out two points on this line and draw our 120 degree angles off of those two points. You can draw 60 degree angles. If you're more comfortable with an acute angle, draw the 60. If you're more comfortable drawing the obtuse angle, you know, draw the 120. The thing is, when you draw the 120, you're also drawing a 60. When you draw the 60, you're also drawing the 120. Uh, and you'll see that in just a moment. All right, so I'm going to pick two spaces on my line that I draw or drew. And those are where I'm going to draw the 120 degree angle off of. Not the tip of this little mark, but where those two marks intersect, right at the corner there. So I'm going to place my protractor in the appropriate spot. There it goes right there. Make sure that the, the line I drew is lined up with the zero line there, it's lined up. And now I need to make a measurement. All right, so if I'm lining it up with this line coming out this way, this ray here, uh, from here, I go to zero and 10, 20, 30, 40, and I'm gonna go all the way out to 120 and find that spot and make a line there or make a little mark. So I know that that's where the 120 degree angle goes move my protractor out of the way, get my straight edge, and now I need to line up my straight edge appropriately. Now your straight edge should be, the edge of your straight edge should go right through that mark and right through the corner there. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw a nice long line there. Even if it goes over the, the corner here, that's fine. All right, so there's our one line and what we've done here is we've drawn a 120 degree angle and automatically we've drawn a 60 degree angle so when you add up the total degrees it's 180 from one side of this line to the other and that's why all the measurements are going to add up to 180. All right so we've drawn one line there for 120 degree line same time we drew the 60 right and so we're going to draw the same angle off of this point right here that we've identified on that original line we drew so we're on to our second angle now moving my tro protractor back to the uh, spot making it line up perfectly Whoop, that's a little bit too high there all right so my middle of my protractor is right at that uh, um, point and I've lined up my zero line with the original line I drew to start with. And now I'm going to measure from there, from 10, 20, 30, 40s, all the way up to 120, and make a mark at the 120 degree on the outside. And my mark kind of continues this protractor line, so I know it's lined up perfectly. And at that point, I can move my protractor out of the way, get my straight edge, and connect this point and that mark I just made. Fortunately, they connect pretty well. Uh, and then draw a nice long line off of that too. So <clears throat> moving that out of the way now, we have uh, drawn another 120 degree line, but that one's kind of on the outside of my um, uh, parallelogram that I'm drawing. But on the inside, I automatically drew that 60 degree line, right? So Number one, draw our first line. Number two, draw two angles off of that line. The two angles are going to be exactly the same. Just pick one of the two angles and then draw your lines. All right. Step three is measure the sides. All right. So we're going to measure the sides now. So we got one side taken care of. 
uh, automatically, if we draw a line parallel to the first line, it's going to create exactly the same length here. But we have to create the exact same lengths going up the sides here. So these are the, now the lines I'm going to measure. All right, and I'm just going to use my uh, ruler now to measure any, um, any length, right? But it just has to be the same length on both sides so i'm going to draw or i'm going to use let's say two inches so i'll find the two there and i'll put that at one of right right at the corner the two goes at the corner right and then i'm going to mark from two it goes to one and then the other one's right there so i'm going to mark a little line there connecting the uh, zero line and my um, side I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I find the two, put it right at the corner. Okay, it's right at the corner. And then make a mark on uh, this line at the zero. All right, now it's time to move that out of the way. Or I should not move it out of the way, but hello, I wanted the ruler, not that other thing. <clears throat> at this point, I need to connect this point that we drew on that line, which is two inches and this point, which is two inches. And what we'll do is we'll create two inch sides over here. And again, opposite sides of a parallelogram have to be equal. So now I move my straight edge into place. I line up uh, those points that are connected and connect them. All right, so what have we done here? We've drawn a parallelogram, right? And here's the parallelogram on the inside. I'm gonna actually tell you okay these are all the four sides of the parallelogram and then <clears throat> this side on the top we don't know what measure that is but um, it's exactly equal to that we have a 120 degree angle within the parallelogram and a 60 degree angle within the parallelogram all right last thing is we're going to draw a rectangle with uh, three inch sides and two and a half inch sides and it doesn't say anything about the angles but if you have a rectangle that means you have four 90 degree angles all right so we need to make 90 degree measurements or 90 degree angles still though we're going to start with drawing a nice long line next thing i need to measure my angles but i need to measure the sides too first so i need to have a three inch side and a two and a half inch side i think i'll start with the three inch side you can move to just anywhere on the line now and make a mark at zero, make a mark at three, and now I've measured uh, a three inch segment of that line. That's three inches right there from this mark to that mark. And off of those, now I need to measure, with my protractor, measure the angles. I need 90 degree angles off both of these. Line up my protractor, make a mark right at 90. <coughs> Line up my pro tro Wait, I'm going to draw the line first. Alright, drawing the line, setting my um, uh, straight edge here, drawing a nice long line there. Okay, and now measuring the second angle, lining it up perfectly. Okay, it's lined up, <clears throat> making a mark right at the 90 degree. Ooh, it's slightly off. Fortunately for me, I have the computer that I can move things around with. All right, and then the last thing over here is making the other side nice and long. And now I have my three inch side, two other sides. I need to draw a parallel line on top, and that's 90 degrees. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna measure up two and a half inches on each one of these sides, so 2.5 inches. Going up here, 2.5 inches going up here, make a mark, and then if I connect those two marks, I'll have a nice um, parallel line on the top. All right, so now I'm going to put my zero line right at that corner, and then measure up two and one half inches. So here's one inch right there, there's two inches right there, and then the half is in between two and three, and that's right there. And so I measured up one side, and then I'm going to measure up the other side, 
by moving my measure onto the other side and lining it up where the zero is lined up with my corner and then measuring up one, two, and one half. All right, now I have two and a half inches from the, uh oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Two and a half inches from here, two and a half inches from here. If I connect those two, uh, I will have a nice parallelogram with a rectangle with the sides I want. And there it is. So two and a half inch sides, three inch sides. I have square corners right here, 90 degree corners. So I have made a rectangle and I have a three inch side and two and a half inch sides. Perfect. Last thing, clean it up a little bit with your eraser. Get rid of the unnecessary lines. All right, nice parallelogram. So our job today is from the homework book. It's H10-6. Good luck. I hope you do well.